expresses a single fraction in its simplest form, 1 minus 3x minus y over x plus 2y. Well, if I want to simplify this to one fraction, I need to put this integer. I need to put it as a fraction. The way to do this is I need to rewrite 1 as x plus 2y over x plus 2y. Essentially, it's 1 times x plus 2y times x plus 2y. OK, so then I've got minus 3x minus y over x plus 2y. Now you can put this straight over one denominator if you want to. I'm just choosing to emphasize the fact that one has been rewritten as a fraction with x plus 2y as the denominator. Simplifying, I get x plus 3x is 4x, 2y, uh, sorry, apologies, it's x minus 3x, which of course should give us minus 2x. I then get 2y minus minus y, so plus 3y. And this is all over x plus 2y. Now it says express it as a single fraction in its simplest form, so I just want to look to see if there's any way I can factorise this. In order to factorise this, I should look to see if there's any common factors on the top. There's no common factors on the top. I should also look to see if there's any common factors on the bottom. There's no common factors on the bottom, so I can't factorise either the top or bottom, which means I can't factorise and cancel a term for both top and bottom. So that is as far as we need to go. How are the marks awarded on this question? Well, if you've got a common denominator of x plus 2y, you get the first standalone mark. If you've got the numerator of 1 when written over a common denominator is x plus 2y, you get second standalone mark. And then finally, if you've got the answer minus 2x plus 3y or 3y minus 2x, it doesn't matter which way around you've written these as long as the signs are matching, you get uh, the final standalone mark. Okay, I hope that all made sense.